It was looking rather hopeful for our Dustburg team that day. We were leading Mudville four to two with an inning left to play. We got Cooney on a grounder, Muldoon on the same. Two out, none on top of the ninth. We thought we won the game. Mudville was despairing and we grinned and cheered and clapped to think that after all these years, our losing string had snapped. And we only wish that Casey, the big fat ugly lout, would be the patsy who would make the final shameful out. Oh, how we hated Casey. He was a blot upon the game. Every dog in Dustbird barked at the mention of his name. A bully and a braggart, a cretin and a swine. If Casey came to bat, we'd put it where the moon don't shine. Two out and up came Flynn to bat with Jimmy Blake on deck. And the former was a loser and the latter was a wreck. And though the game was in the bag, the Dustburg fans were hurt to think that Casey would not come and get his just dessert. But Flynn, he got a single, a most unlikely sight. And Blake swung like a spastic, but he poked it deep to right. And when the dust had settled and fickle fate had beckoned, there was Flynn a hugging third and Jimmy safe at second. And then from every Dustburg throat arose a lusty cry, send up the slimy meatball and let him stand and die. Throw the mighty slider, let him hear it whiz and let him hit a pop-up like the pansy that he is. <laughs> there was pride in Casey's visage as he strode across the grass. There was scorn in his demeanor as he calmly scratched his back. <laughs> 10,000 people booed him when he stepped into the box and they made a very vulgar sound when he bent to fix his socks. And now the fabled slider came spinning toward the mitt and Casey watched it coming and he did not go for it. And the umpire jerked his arm like he was hauling in the sun and the cry rang from the box seats to the bleachers. Strike one! 10,000 desperate partisans raised such a mighty cheer. The pigeons in the rafters crapped and ruined all the beer. <laughs> You filthy, ignorant, rotten, slimy, miserable son of a gun, we yelled at mighty Casey, and then came the second one. It was our hero's fastball, and it came across the plate, and according to the radar, it was going 98, and according to the umpire, it came in straight and true, and the cry rang from the toilet to the bullpen, Right to 10,000 desperate fans arose in joyful, loud derision to question Casey's salary, his manhood, and his vision. Then, while the Dustburg pitcher put the rosin on the ball, 10,000 people hooted to think of Casey's fall. Oh, the fury in his visage as he spat tobacco juice and heard our little children screaming violent abuse. He knocked the dirt from off his spikes, reached down and eased his pants. What's the matter, did you lose him? Cried a lady in the stands. And then the Dustburg pitcher stood majestic on the hill and leaned in toward the plate and then the crowd was still and he went into his windup and he kicked and let it go and then the air was shattered with the force of Casey's blow. He swung so hard his hair fell off and he fell down in disgrace and the Dustburg catcher held the ball and the crowd tore up the place with Casey lying in the dirt amid the boos and jeers. We threw wieners down at him and other souvenirs. We pounded on the dugout roof when they helped him to the bench and we ran out to the parking lot and got a monkey wrench and found the Mudville bus and took the lug nuts off the tires and attached some firecrackers to the alternator wires. We rubbed the doors and windows with a special kind of cheese that smells like something died from an intestinal disease. <laughs> Old Casey took his sweet time, but we were glad to wait and we showered him with gravel as he came out through the gate. So happy were the Dustburg fans that great and glorious day. It took a dozen cops to help poor Casey get away. And then we grabbed hold of the bumpers and we rocked him to and fro. And he cursed us from inside the bus. And gosh, we loved it so. 
Sometimes in America, the sun is shining bright. Life is joyful sometimes, and all the world seems right. But there is no joy in Dustburg, no joy so pure and sweet as when the mighty Casey fell, demolished at our feet.